At least 23 people have been killed and more than 140 injured in a double suicide bombing outside the Iranian embassy in Beirut. Lebanese officials say a man wearing an explosives belt ran towards the embassy before blowing himself up. Then a second explosion by a car bomb parked two buildings away. Survivors have described how the first smaller explosion attracted a crowd, then a second larger blast caused most of the casualties. The first one exploded. We went to see what was going on. The first explosion, I was standing with one of my friends. We were at work and I felt nothing but flying and reaching the floor. God helped me and I stood up and walked. Iran's cultural attaché, Ibrahim Ansari, is reportedly among those killed in the attacks. A group known as the Abdullah Azam Brigades has claimed responsibility. It's linked with al-Qaeda, who've threatened to take their battle from Syria to Lebanon in response to Iran's backing of Syrian President Assad. With regards to Syria and other countries, our position is one. This kind of attack will never affect us. There are over 75 million Iranians in Iran who want Iran to be involved in the fight against the Israeli occupation. This is what makes it important for us to stand in the front line, and it is our pride to fight against the Israeli plans and to stand in the face of Zionist orders. Lebanon has suffered a series of bomb attacks and clashes linked to the two-and-a-half-year conflict in neighbouring Syria. Lebanon's caretaker Prime Minister Najib Mikati called the attack a cowardly terrorist act.